This video is on weighted averages. A weighted average is a mean, or an average, where some of the values contribute more weight than the others. For example, in baseball, a hitter's batting average is calculated by taking the number of hits and dividing it by the number of at-bats. So his average is his total number of hits divided by total number of at-bats. But this does not distinguish between the types of hits. So for example, hitting a double is more advantageous than hitting a single because the batter gets to second base instead of just to first base. He also has the opportunity to drive in a run if there's a, bat, if there's a, a runner on second or third base. So the way they calculate slugging percentage is like this. So slugging percentage is equal to the number of single base hits, so the number of singles that you get, plus two times the number of doubles. 2B stands for the, the doubles, or two base hits, plus three times the number of triples, or three ba base hits, plus four times the number of home runs. So a home run is weighted by four, a triple weighted by three, a double weighted by two, and then that sum is divided by the number of at-bats. So that takes into account that it's better or you're slugging more if you're hitting extra base hits. Here's another example we'll take a look at. Alyssa has taken four tests and has earned grades of 82, 77, 75, and 84. She has to take a final exam, and her teacher has told her that the final exam will count as two test grades. Alyssa really wants to earn a B in the class, which means she needs to get an overall average of 80. What grade does Alyssa need to earn on the final exam in order to get a B in the class? So we need to figure out what does her final exam score have to be for her to get a B. I need to assign this a variable. So I'm going to start by saying let x equal her final exam score. It's always helpful to define what your variable is going to be. I don't like to just throw an x into an equation and not say what x is. So she has already scored an 82, a 77, a 75, and an 84. So if we were to average that, I would just divide that by 4, and that would give me her current average. But we want to figure out what her final exam is going to be. And since it counts double, or counts as two test grades, I'm going to call that 2 times x. So her final exam score times 2. And all of that totaled up, that's going to count as 6 scores, so I'll divide by 6. And we want that to be at least an 80%. So that's the equation you would write to calculate. Now let's go ahead and solve that. I'm going to start by combining these numbers on top. And that gives me 318 plus 2x divided by 6, oops, sorry about that, equals 80. And multiplying both sides by 6, 318 plus 2x equals 480. And then I'll subtract 318 from both sides. So 2x equals 162. And dividing by 2, x is equal to 81. So Alyssa needs to earn at least an 81% on the final exam in order to earn at least a B in the class. In this video, we took a look at weighted averages, which is basically an average that gives more weight or more value to certain values that you're calculating. 